Pisces. Hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, Pisces, let's dive right in. We had the Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles coming forward here now. So just know that where you are, uh, you know, the success and to the degree of your success comes to the degree of how much you're giving back. And in order for you to be able to give more, you have to give to yourself. You see how that works there? I know the universe is very clever. So in order for you to be able to receive more, again, you need to be able to give more, but you're only gonna be able to give as much as you know, as much as you're capable of, as much as your, your beliefs and your knowledge system uh, has acquired. So the more that you learn new things, acquire new skills, constantly developing your Yourself in any area that you'd like to focus on again it doesn't matter what area here's the kicker is that your spirit is always going to lead you to the path that you're meant to be on so the more you learn to trust that part of you that or your intuition you know say your intuition is like hey uh, Pisces you need to learn about how to feed cats and you're like what how does that apply? And you're just like, you know what? It feels good. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to learn how to feed cats. And then guess what? In like a year down the road, you may stumble upon a litter of kittens off the side of the road and you need to feed them. You know what I mean? You just never know. Now, this is a very uh, minute description, but this is basically how the process goes. And so just know that whatever you're guided towards, there's always a reason for it. Now, trust this feeling and just know that the more you go with this feeling the more you're going to be able to heal wounds because you're going to learn how to trust yourself and isn't it so isn't it so pisces that the main problem with us empaths i don't want to say problem that's not a fun word the main um restriction for us uh, resistance for us is that we don't trust ourselves because we feel anxiety like crazy and so whenever we feel whenever you know we were going through childhood uh you know learning curves and and whatnot you know we felt the anxiety of our parents we felt the anxiety of not being given attention we felt the anxiety of pain and trauma and so we felt it, it goes through our our bones like a jolt of lightning and so we really feel we felt almost like we weren't able to trust ourselves we weren't able to make proper decisions there's so much that goes along with it we know the whole story of being an empath right now this is all good stuff because our journey as an empath leads us to where we're meant to go. So all these experiences equate to our purpose. Now, that being said, the more we learn to trust ourselves by following our intuition, no matter where our intuition calls us, is going to be how we heal those wounds and evolve and move forward. And it then puts us in a place where we're able to re-strategize our life so that we get exactly to where we want to go. Again, sometimes this guidance system doesn't make sense. Most of the times this guidance system doesn't make sense. Like feeding cats. Who knew? Who knew that was going to be, in particular, uh, a rewarding outcome but you know you never know where the universe guides us and that's why we just have to trust it's always going to lead us somewhere as long as we stay focused on our goals and our desires and just know that we prioritize those so eliminating anything in our life that doesn't get us to the to the desire that we want it means that we want to watch those limiting beliefs and we also want to watch where we're obsessively doing anything if we're if we're overeating over analyzing over drinking overthinking over anything it means that we have off balance in our life somewhere we're out of alignment somewhere it means that that we're trying to fill a void we're trying to validate ourselves we're trying to um we're trying to um we're, 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 we're beating around the bush for what really needs to get taken place. You know what I mean? It's like, it, really want to be mindful of when we're excessively doing anything because it's just not going to yield us the results we're looking for. And again, uh, it, it's, it's, what's interesting here. Okay. So What's beautiful here, Pisces, is I have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So there is a connection here, and there's definitely love here. And this love is going to uh, materialize and going to expand and grow. But again, this love is only going to expand and grow to the, the degree you love yourself, right? And again, if we're not coming, it, we can only give to our relationship as much as we are um, aware of things that are happening in our relationship. Like, for instance, like if our ego is coming out, 
and we have certain um, we have certain uh, things we need to express, and we want to express these to our to our, our lover, but we are not aware of what it is, like why we're trying to express these things, right? Like say we have an anger or a frustration and we're just blah, blurting it out, uh, but we don't know where it's truly coming from, the root of it, then it's going to just in, amount to a fight. You know, it's just going to be a back and forth of who's right and who's wrong. But if we have, if we work on our personal development and if we work on uh, our spiritual practices and we become more enlightened and, and, and in tune with our higher self, our intuition will be higher and stronger. So when that happens, when we want to react, instead we take a step back Back, and instead of reacting, we observe it. We're like, hmm, why is this emotion here? And then our intuition is going to be like, hmm, maybe because you experienced, uh, you know, a lack of separation when you were um, younger, or maybe you had this response and now you're trying to get validation, whatever it is, then just know that then you're going to be able to be like, oh, I see. And you're going to be able to take a step back. And instead of bringing all of those childhood wounds to the surface and projecting them onto your partner without knowing, you're going to then know why this is happening. And when we know things, because us empaths like to know everything when we know things it brings us a sense of validation and we no longer want to fill the void with obsessiveness instead we're filling that void from an uh, from an understanding of, of of healing right we're healing and that's powerful and that really does bring a lot of uh, um, relief to us and it allows us to be back on our journeys and allow us to take action on the necessary things that the guidance of the universe is leading us towards. And the universe is saying, now is a beautiful time to move forward towards your goals and your dreams. So do not, do not, do not, do not second guess yourself, Pisces, because right now is a perfect time for you to get moving on it because you are going to be successful. But here's the thing, make sure you're having a really fun time doing it, okay? Live with that childlike sense of wonder. When we become serious with ourselves, right? We got to do this. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be that. Know that. And we're empaths. We're perfectionists because if things don't go right, we're going to feel un uncomfortable, right? But here's the thing. If we can get used to feeling comfortable in that degree of uncomfortableness, that is when we can really have a good time. Because I'll tell you something, I don't know if life ever gets comfortable. You know what I mean? There's always going to be moments. Now, the more we're in connection with our higher self and learning things, that's the most comfortable and fulfilled we can possibly feel. And then at that point, life does get really good. But that comes from, again, awareness. And education is everything. Knowledge is everything. And there, there's no excuses these days with, with the internet and with, with, with books. I mean, my goodness, our spirit guides have so many avenues to give us information. You know, my guides lead me down rabbit holes all the time. It's like they lead me to one book where I read a, literally the first chapter of this book I read. I felt uh, there was another book that, that that person recommended and I just returned that book right away and got that book. You know what I mean? So there's always a rabbit hole. So it, the, more, the more we're having fun with it, the more we're open-minded and our intuition can be like, ding, 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 that's the one. Now, here we have Wasp Spirit and we have Wolf Spirit. So just know that the adversity you faced in your past is what you needed to give you the experience to be able to move forward today and be able to turn that knowledge that you gained into that wisdom so that it really sits in your spirit. It really sits in your soul. So now that wisdom is yours forever. So even in lives, uh, more lives down to come, that experience is now yours. So this is really profound. So if you feel like ever, if you're ever in a time where you're not ready to forgive anything, forgive yourself forgive others around you if you're not ready to accept if you're still like no I can't just know that that is going to hold you back from really gaining the wisdom you need again take that step back and be like okay why did this really happen what action steps were taken what was said what wasn't said you know what I mean and just really get to the root of it the root of it is what we need we're empaths we don't do no surface stuff you know what I'm saying we go deep and so go deep with yourself don't be scared to see the answer sometimes we don't we just want to bury our heads in the sand and not not go and, and, and take a look but take a look and see why it was really there because there is always a reason for it there's always a lesson in there for us to significantly learn and now your intuition will guide you okay but the more you learn to trust your intuition and work with your intuition the easier it will be this means journaling. This means automatic writing. This means picking up a beautiful oracle deck and using it so that you are able to, or even a tarot deck. Um, you know, the good tarot is a great one. Uh, if you're not used to using tarot, the good tarot by Colette Baron-Reed. And she also has um, another oracle deck. Oh, 
the Wisdom of the Oracle. It's a red cover. That's a beautiful one as well. Uh, pulling some cards for yourself and starting to get your intuition going, that voice in your head, let me tell you something. Your intuition and your spirit guides sound like your own voice. Ding, ding, ding. I know, right? Sometimes they come through. Sometimes, you know, when you get really uh, developed, you know, I, you'll be able to hear other uh, voices. Um, but for the most part, sounds like your own voice. And so we get confused. It, was this me? Was this my spirit guides? I don't know. But when you start developing this, you'll start to be able to differentiate, dif differentiate, defend. Okay. You'll start to be able to notice the difference of, oh, this is my ego or, oh no, this is my spirit. And this is my spirit guides communicating with me. So it's really fun. And if that's not fun, I don't know what it is. So just know Pisces that everything is going to work out for you. But again, develop that intuition and just know you'll always be guided. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Pisces. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.